Hey there guys, uh, Jeremy here, Consciousness Awake. I uh, hope you guys are having a really good day wherever you are. You know, this channel is all about pumping out some positive vibrations and lifting up the vibrational frequency uh, so that you can um, have your own form of consciousness ascension for yourself. Um, you know, we are all our own universes and uh, we all have to learn how to uh, learn from each other and work with each other energetically and through other forms of data uh, and information, etc. Uh, and then you throw in all the emotions and er, er, and all every all the other types of energies. So we have to learn how to balance all of these things. And our our main chakra system, you know, again we have seven main chakras. We'll go over those in just a moment. Um, each one by name, etc. And what's associated uh, with each of those chakras. Uh, but before I do that, though, uh, I want to. Uh, make a point. Uh, my point being is that, um, as you already know, uh, our spirit is energy. Um, our consciousness is energy. Um, and this energy is uh, connected to these main chakra systems that run through the human body, uh, through the front, through the back, so they're on the front side of your body and the back side of your body. They're like little uh, spinning vortexes. Uh, um, um, they're always open. Um, so uh, yes, they, they can get blocked individually. There can be blockages, um, but there's always some kind of negative or positive energy that's going in or out of even a block chakra is what I'm trying to say. So when it gets blocked, um, it's not necessarily like shut down. Um, there's still something happening, uh, but it's just not open. Now there's a difference between opening your chakras and um, aligning your chakras, okay? Um, there's a big difference. There's a big difference, and of course, there's a your you know if there's a uh, some kind of blockage in your sacral shock, chakra or in your heart chakra or in your crown chakra, whatever wherever it is, um, sure. Sometimes you have to work on unblocking that and um, opening it up more. Uh, but but what I'm talking about is not just opening your chakras connecting to your chakras on an energetic level through through consciousness uh, but also um, aligning all seven main chakras and of course there's micro chakras uh, that run all across um, all across your auric field um, there's hundreds of little tiny little um, string like looking um, um, mini mini micro chakras uh, so to speak uh, but usually all of those are they work well with um, all seven main chakras when the seven main chakras are you know functioning well and there but more more or less al aligned so an aligned chakra uh, uh, system um, uh, raises your vibrational frequency um, and that's kind of like the title of this video, uh, something like aligning the chakras will raise your vibrational frequency. Uh, so we're trying to raise our vibrational frequency, uh, you know, in this place. Um, it is, you know, this, there, uh, this, you know, 3D Earth matrix um, that we're in, and there's so many, um, you know, energies and. Um, disturbances and different uh, bad frequencies and all kinds of things going on that uh, and let alone other people other people's energy around us that affect us energetically um, and so you know if we if we want to really elevate consciousness um, and get to those higher levels of awareness of self and um, we, we need to also focus on having as much good high vibrational energy tied into all of that uh, so that your consciousness ascension process can continue on and there's so many things blocking the consciousness uh, evolvement or consciousness ascension process here in this uh, you know 
uh, 3D Earth um, Earth matrix um, that we're uh, having this life cycle in right now as a human being. Um, and so, you know, so how do we um, uh, how do we uh, do some aligning uh, aligning with the chakras? Um, so what uh, what I would do and what I've done for myself. And now remember, I'm um, a little more, probably a little more energy sensitive uh, than maybe a lot of you who are watching my video, um, and that's fine because there are, if, if you're not really energy sensitive, uh, or if you think you're not energy sensitive, uh, you can um, change that and, uh, and and improve that and intensify your ability to be energy uh, sensitive. Uh, if if anybody uh, here. Um, would, would want to see, let's say, future videos about increasing um, your own sensitivity to energies so that you can feel energies more, um, then uh, just leave it in the comments. Um, and then that way uh, I can um, I, I can see uh, where everyone's at, you know. Uh, but let me get back to aligning chakras. So, um, so what you want to do is you want to take... Uh, your palms, okay. So every uh, main, main, the seven main chakras. They're about, um, you know, each vortex of energy is about the size of your palm, let's say, in around about there. For at least from what I can feel when I'm trying to uh, align align my own chakras. Uh, so they're about that big, okay. Um, so you're sensing it with your whole palm. Um, and um, you want to lay down, nice quiet meditation space on your bed in your bedroom. Uh, you, you just don't want distractions, you know. Um, you know, turn the TV off. You know, turn the Wi-Fi off. Just turn everything off. Just make it nice and quiet, so that you can just focus on just feeling your own chakras. Um, and this isn't really a visualization technique that I'm getting into here. This is more of like a hands-on, uh, hands-on energy work. Uh, feeling your own energies. Um, so lay down and then place uh, one of your palms. It doesn't matter what, if it's your left or right hand, whatever is better for you. I usually use my right hand and place it at the base of your spine. So you're laying down on your back and you're just going down and you're putting your, let's say your right palm over your, uh, over your root chakra, okay? The base of your spine. So what the uh, and also uh, think of the color red too. Uh, that helps me a lot. So there's certain um, colors that are associated with with each uh, uh, of these seven main chakras, and the color red is associated with um, your root chakra, the base of your spine. So I'll usually have that hand palm down there, and then I'll take my other palm and I'll put it um, right. Um, on uh, not on top of my other hand, but next to my hand. So the other hand's going up towards the, like the second chakra, basically. Um, so the second hand is basically, I mean, pardon me, it's basically it's on the second chakra. So you're putting your, um, you know, your first your your first hand out, palm down on the first chakra, and the second palm on the second chakra, and you're trying to feel them both at the same time. That's what I'm doing. So like. Um, I'll feel them at the same time, and sometimes it might take a few seconds, it might take a minute, whatever, until I can actually get the, the energy sensations and the feelings, the vibrations, the heat signatures, the um, everything that's just happening there, until um, I can really feel it. And then uh, I can feel it circulating, you know, like a vortex and spiraling and spinning. Sometimes it's spinning slower, sometimes it's spinning faster. Uh, but also, Sometimes the the base uh, the first the first hand on the first chakra and the second hand on the second chakra they're not the the same height off the I'm, I'm, the, the energy I'm sensing when I'm when I'm feeling the chakra uh, sometimes maybe the the sacral chakra the second one's maybe like the energy's like three inches above uh, below my navel where the second chakra is and but my my root root chakra the base there uh, maybe that's like six inches out. Um, so I think that's giving you a good visualization now, uh, you know, of what, what I'm trying to describe here. So, so when you're doing this kind of energy work on yourself to align your uh, chakras, to raise your vibrational frequency, 
to, to connect yourself more uh, to, to your consciousness, to your spirit body, and uh, the non-physical uh, bodies we have. <clears throat> Um, you want to basically, you know, balance them, balance them. So when we talk about aligning chakras, we're talking about, um, we're talking about uh, having the same distance from the human body up to where you feel the energy. So let's say you want it four, four inches, right? So the root's four inches and you're feeling it four inches up and then the second's four inches and then just move up your body same process so then take your you know the palm that was on your root chakra move it up to your um to your sacral chakra and then take your other hand and move it up to your third chakra the solar plex okay make does that make sense so if anyone has questions about that and just move up all the way through your main seven chakras i'm not going to go through seven <clears throat> until all the chakras all the vortexes of energy that are spinning spiraling vibrating um they're the same distance or height um, above your uh, human body okay so you're again you're, you're feeling this energetically with the palms of your hands and you don't have to visualize you don't want to visualize this stuff because um, <clears throat> uh, that, that, that's just not the way to do it uh, what, what you want to do is see if, if, you, if you can't feel your chakra main chakras with the palms of your hands um, then you have to do some energy work on yourself you have to do uh, certain exercises technique practices I, I can make more videos on that if again leave them in the comments let me know if um, you know that those kinds of videos would be helpful to you guys I'm trying to learn who all of you are <clears throat> and um, and so I uh, just move move up all the way and then so once you feel like everything's aligned and balanced um then you want to um then just t t just to then visualize well also feel but also visualize uh that you're circulating uh all this energy uh, through your auric field okay uh so you're going through uh, uh what i do i mean there's some discussion to the proper method uh what i've noticed that worked for me was started to start starting to circulate energy from the the base of the spine and then bring it up you know bring it all the way up to the crown and then circulate it out into your auric field <clears throat> and so i noticed that um whenever i just meditated just to align my chakras or just to check what's going on because sometimes if i'm feeling off usually wow it's not a coincidence sometimes if i'm feeling off it's with something i like lay down and check my chakra my main chakras and there's something out of out of alignment you know something's going wacky you know so <clears throat> there's some interesting uh correlations with all of these things and of course you know uh these chakra systems and and how they're all tied into our energy bodies and everything i mean this information has been around for thousands of years thousands of years uh, when I go out of body sometimes when I'm in sleep paralysis let's say like right when I'm starting an astral projection and my, my human body's paralyzed and I'm totally awake and conscious and aware <clears throat> and then I'm feeling that uh, next body if, if my vibrational frequency is um, attaching more to my, my my 40 etheric body or if my vibrational frequency is attaching more to my uh, one of one of my one of my different astral bodies because there's different uh, planes uh, individual planes uh, in 5d which is the astral planes and so I noticed that when I <clears throat> am in when my chakras are really in line and I'm circulating that energy and then I go into a meditation to try to go on a body, um, I notice that in those times, especially those times, um, I'm getting out of body, and I'm, but I'm getting more, I'm getting into my 5D bodies. I'm getting into my astral bodies. And, so, and then uh, a lot of times when maybe I'm feeling a little off and there's probably something not aligned with my chakra system, <clears throat> and a lot of times I'll end up in the 4D body, in the etheric body, um, with all other ghosts all around me and all other 4D uh, physical entities uh, running around and <clears throat> and um, and it, yeah there's bad stuff there's good stuff there's all kinds of stuff in the 4D and the etheric plane especially the etheric plane there's so much stuff there um, good and bad um, but there's good and bad stuff here in this 3D uh, earth matrix we live in too so uh, it doesn't matter where you are folks uh, you know it really doesn't matter i mean you 
um, uh, you you have to use due diligence and try to make the best decisions and keep yourself aware and just continue to elevate your consciousness and awareness levels and just keep going from there. Uh, so I don't want to go any longer in this video. I think this might be the longest video I've ever done. Uh, but peace to you guys. Uh, thank you so much for all the support so far. Um, and um, and uh, I'm sending you nothing but positive energy, guys. I really, really appreciate um, all everything that's going on right now and the, uh, the, the growth of the channel. Okay, so I'll look forward to the next upload. All right, peace.